Sales in general frequently ask questions. What's the most efficient system? Geothermal is the most efficient system that I have to offer today. Uh, there are lots of heat pump options. They get better every day as far as their efficiency, but nothing compares to the geothermal. Uh, sometimes the cost uh, up front of the geothermal system is you know, out of some folks' uh, range. Uh, if not, I recommend a heat pump to them. Uh, it's, the, it's as good as you get compared to a geothermal. Sales in general frequently ask questions. How is warranty handled after a sale? The way the warranty normally works, each piece of equipment usually has a different type of warranty. Uh, most geothermal systems, in fact I'll say almost all of them, have a 10 year parts and labor warranty, meaning that if you buy a geo system from us, it will be warrantied for 10 years and you will be out zero dollars on anything except for your general maintenance of your equipment. Uh, normal air to air gas furnaces, heat pumps, they normally have anywhere from a, a 10 year warranty on parts to a full 10 year parts and labor warranty. Uh, if you have a parts warranty, then the parts would be warrantied if something breaks and then the labor would be on top of that. Sales in general frequently ask questions. Do heat pumps really blow cold air? Heat pumps do blow cold air and the reason why is because your body temperature is much warmer than the air coming out of the heat pump. Even though the heat pump may be blowing 90 degree air if you put your hand down there or you, you put your foot on your register, uh, 90 degrees is cooler than your body so it actually does feel cooler compared to a gas furnace that blows out 140 or 50 degree air and a geothermal that'll blow out 120 or 30. So yes, a heat pump unit feels cool, yet you'd be able to have your thermostat set at any temperature you desire and achieve that temperature. Sales in general frequently ask questions. Are gas furnaces dangerous? Gas furnaces have came miles and miles over the last 15 or 20 years. When I first started in the business, uh, we still had standing pilot gas furnaces, uh, meaning that you had a little pilot light that you had to light with a match. Uh, the service technicians were constantly coming in with the hair burned off their eyes, eyelids and eyebrows and faces and arms. And, but nowadays, everything's closed combustion. They're very, very safe. Uh, lots of safety controls to protect the customers. Uh, they've came a long way and are very, very safe today. Sales in general frequently ask questions. Does geothermal really waste all that water? As far as the water usage of a geothermal, it actually uses zero water. Uh, the loops are closed, meaning they are just a constant loop that runs from the unit to the ground and back to the unit. So there's actually zero waste in a geothermal system as far as the water coolant. Sales in general frequently ask questions. Do air conditioners and heat pumps use Freon? They do. And Freon means many things. Uh, there's many, many types of Freon. Uh, refrigerant may be the word some folks know it by. Uh, today, most heating and cooling systems use a different type of Freon called uh, 410A. It's a number. Uh, it used to be R22, still a lot of it out there, but they've stepped up to a new, more environmentally friendly refrigerant. So yes, even the most modern units still use Freon today. Sales in general frequently ask questions. How long should I expect my unit to last? Usually you can expect a heating and air conditioning system to last probably 15 to 20 years. The average in the industry, from what I read in all the trade magazines show, that most systems, the average is 13 years. That takes in the cheapest built equipment compared to the best equip best built equipment. So, you know, you can expect if you've got a high-end piece of equipment, it's probably going to last 15 to 20 years. Sales in general frequently ask questions. What type of ductwork do you use? When we do an installation of a heating and cooling system that includes ductwork, if the ductwork's to be installed underneath the house or even in a basement, we always use all steel ductwork. We use no flexible ductwork at all. Um, it costs more money. It performs better. Um, it, uh, it, it just lasts forever. It is a forever thing that you buy from me and I can look at you in the eye and say, it's guaranteed forever. As long as you own the house, I'll take care of it. Um, it has no uh, 
downfalls to metal. If you use flexible ductwork, there's a lot of it out there. Uh, mice eat holes in it, animals tear it down. Uh, Mother Nature, uh, gravity is terrible on flexible ductwork, so we use all steel. If we use flex duct, it'll be in an attic when it's covered over with insulation. But if it's uh, installed under a floor or in an accessible place, it will be steel ductwork, insulated.